we're just going to go back around the corner. Um, I think we've got about 10 course in between the windows to go on. We've got a bit of a bad forecast, not as bad as it did say um, yesterday. So we're going to get them done while it's not raining. And if it does rain, we're going to go to the next port, which is pretty sheltered anyway. I think it's about a brick return to the door. We're going to rack a big corner out again, and that's in the corner, like an internal corner. We're going to hide in there. And uh, I'll see how it goes for the day and hopefully it stays off and then we've got another big stretch to run in down there. I think it's you know, it must be about eight metres, something like that. So I have another nice stretch to get on with, get that up to sill height, corner on, up to sill height, probably a few courses in between the windows. I'd be happy if we can get to that point today. So we'll get this tub round and we'll get cracking. Let's have a look here then. Big Nafe's got the place sorted, ready to rock. What we got? It's my sponge. It's nice and dry. Keep the sponge nice and dry. I'm gonna go for this. 3310 London. Been really enjoying this like Jewish soft. Let's get cracking here. Lovely setup, Nave. Uh -huh. Lovely setup right there. Hello. Let's get cracking. section done on this job with 200 bricks went in there this morning uh, it looks really nice I really do like the uh, look like so we just use a glove just go over with the um, glove on the joints so after it's gone off leave it for a bit you wouldn't glove it the same time you would joint up um, you leave it for a little bit till it goes off and then just go over with your glove on the joints just rubbing it go over with a sponge after don't know, I don't know if you've seen that in the time lapse just now it was too fast enough but Go over with a sponge, it takes any smudges off um, and it looks dog's bollocks like. Also I like, use that, I use a bit of a chum brush sometimes, um, especially down the bottom. If there's any splashings, off the spot board or anything, just go along, get any bit of rash off the bottom. Um, but yeah, it's looking really nice. Another section of the scaffold, so now we've got that four corners up, we've came through where we've just been and we're on the front there yeah so ready for scaffold there is we have went a little bit lower on this you know you would probably normally try and get another course on there but i don't see the point why because that height up there is the finished height um, we don't want to be too high so that we're kneeling down when we're putting the um the stringer course around do it so if we get our scaffold one course drop it one course down from there we're going to be at a really nice height when we get over there. Nave's busy round here at the minute. Um, been coming along, bedding the damp on. And there he is there, you want to say hello? There's Banners. So what we're going to be doing here, we've got this profile set up on the corner. I think it's about just a one brick return on here. So one brick return. We'll see how it goes, see what time it is now with regards to just keep running that through there. What I might do is just get that up a big corner out two about here put the first soldier on there see what time it is maybe run some through um, the first three course and then get the rest of it tomorrow because if you remember we've got bed the dam on first two course of bricks go on I don't know if you can see in here so the damp goes on then you got two course of bricks then these straps go on there on top of that course and then we'll come over course of bricks on top of that then bed the damp on and then put our wee poles every 450. Now you might be thinking like there's no no air uh, tray in there and i did think exactly the same but because of the way the build is you don't need a tray but it is in the book even when um labc came around uh, building control came have a look he even questions why there's an old cavity tree in there we don't need a cavity tree in this type of timber frame be that odd as it may for you but that is true and i think off the top of my head it is because this whole job is a raft here and with all of the membranes the gas membranes and whatever else 
is in there means that you don't need it as long as we still have weep holes in here every 450 the full size weep holes that still ventilates the cavity where if you would have a tray in here now so that was a tray you would have to have weep holes in these cross joints as well the reason for that is this tray would have closed the cavity and anything below there now can it be vented um, so the sole plate on the timber frame wouldn't be vented so you need them two lots of weep holes in there but that's not the case like i just said we don't need it here i'll put all the details up over there yeah we're gonna get cracking now we're in the corner anyway stop rambling and um I, if you are liking this video i really appreciate if you did subscribe to the channel um i was looking last night and i think it's like 89 percent of people which aren't subscribed to the channel um but you still do keep coming back to watch so if that is you please do subscribe to the channel i would really appreciate it it really helps me reach more people like yourself who do enjoy watching our videos and obviously press the like button and leave a comment if you feel like you would like to let us know what you think of this lush job let's get cracking all right so what you can see i've done here see these bricks that i've dotted along these three bricks through there trace the bond back so each of these are eight bricks um trace a bond back to the corner behind us there and we found we need to open up 40 mil which is fine to get that knee bother because it's, it's like 40, 40 bricks or something in a stretch and you see i've nearly got it already here i've got it <laughs> that's why it's always best to tape out it work not that it's gonna stay like that to be honest with uh with these bricks but <laughs> Start out right. I think that's as much as I'm going. I'm going to wrap this up here, get up to there, run that through for my corner. I'll finish that corner and then I'll come back to that tomorrow, like later on in the, in the afternoon. And I can't be asked. So I find it, it good working this way anyway when you're just running in by yourself. Um, you know what I mean? I think it works nicely. You're not giving yourself all that much work to uh, to try and get through. I'll show you the setup I've got going on as well. So this corner is already done here. Just gonna lift me line up down to the bottom end. Oh, it's warm. This is a profile setup. So you see, starting in the bottom, got a T clamp, uh, T clamp there from BT Engineering. Harvey's hooked us up with these bar boys, 2.4 profiles, getting right up there, right past the door. BT engineering uh, top clamps with a timber frame bits. Uh, these are absolute belt. I like this. This one here moves backwards and forwards on that. That one there moves this way to get you plumb that way. And that one there is obviously to get you plumb this way. The same setup, uh, top bracket there for this profile, which is only for keeping my jam straight so I don't need plumbers um, so yeah line comes around wraps around the back of this profile to this little dory block here and this profile set up just held in at the bottom with the big block clamp 560 clamp onto the top bracket so this is just a gallows bracket um, I've not got the bits like I have for the, the timber frame ones but Harvey from Cess Tools sort us out with them bad boys just fix them into your stud Hoy that through and away you go. That goes there and then just fix that in place with the uh, um, what's it called left clamp. And then again I know this corner's gauge so I'm just moving move my dory block up on the gauge and that's it. Bosh. Ready to go again. Same round here. Gauge is already marked. I've extended the line hour and that's it. Ready to go. Two course on here, then we'll stick them uh, brackets in. 
we're sure them down there. doing here as well when we're setting out I'm just making sure perps are in the middle of the brick because we're still setting out all over set our first one out <coughs> you still want to get your second course running half on have some more That's just done for today. Pretty tired, but done all right. We've done about 450 bricks. Um, so we came along here, we got up to sill height, ran out of muck, and thought it's pointless knocking anymore. So we've had a bit of a tidy up in that. In all, I'm happy with the progress. Oh, I'm going to show you this, right, with the BT top clamps. I've taken the profile off down in the bottom corner so I can get it jointed up. There's a hole right in the bottom there just for the T clamp to go through, tighten up. So I've took that out, loosened the top bracket off. Many of you probably already know how to use these, but those who don't, this bracket there, that's just set. It's all set in place. That hasn't moved. I've just taken the profile from it. So all that I need to do in the morning, profile goes back down there. I set it to the gauge. I'll put the T clamp through, tighten this one, tighten that one up there. And that's it, ready to go again. And the same, it's the same uh, setup for the door jam as well. It'll take two minutes. It's an absolute massive save of time. If that even came out wrong, <laughs> I'm tired. So yeah where we are on here today you'll have to let us know like in the comments is is the videos good that we're doing here i kind of forgot how i used to make the youtube videos to be honest and i was just thinking there it seems like all i'm doing is just blogging what we're doing on the job <laughs> what we've done today um i've kind of went through already you know the the heights and stuff like that so yeah like all we're doing now is just running running brickwork show you the profile setups and, and stuff like that so yeah i'm gonna get this fork get this fork lift get it around the front get it locked up and i'm gonna get away and uh i i'll catch up with you when we get back here tomorrow bye for now